this one star monitor. Hey, Kelly, all these items just got in from Amazon, and here's your one star monitor. Wait, that's my computer monitor. What the heck? Let's get to review it. Meet Shredder Bear Claws. What? These are rated one star on Amazon. This review says if you have a decent amount of meat to get through, these are not the object for the job. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Scott, I don't think you're cut out to do this job. What? Oh. I brought this guy in, one, for retention, and two, because he eats a lot of chicken. It's supposed to be able to help you shred your chicken like a bear. All right, um, you ready to see if we can shred that chicken? Go. go. This is a technique passed down from my great grandfather. Honestly? I think the one star review might be wrong. What do you think? Three, two, one. Two. Two star. Oh, we yeah. agree. Meet Shredder. On to the next. Throughout this video, we're reviewing one star Amazon items, indestructible Amazon items with the world's strongest man, and we even have my dad reviewing our favorite childhood toys. Stick around to see all the crazy ways we destroy some of these items. $20. Let's check these out. The one star review just says, terrible. They don't even turn on. They're just humming. One, one star. star. For every one star item, we're going to spin the wheel of destruction and see in what way should we destroy this one star item. Baseball bat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are worthy of their one star review. Next item, duty head game. This is a fun game where you take these hats and you have these little duty squigglies to throw at it. I'm sorry I bought it. It's an embarrassment. My granddaughter got a kick out of it the one time I let her play with it. OK, Scott, before we start, I need to bring in the biggest duty head I know. Who's that? Says the two people wearing the duty what? head. So you can get more points depending on where you land on their duty heads. Look at that. Now, what I want you guys to do is I want my duty heads to do this. Scott, is this said. what it's like to be a model? I feel degraded. <laughs> oh, oh, he got 50. She's a duty corn. Speed round. Oh! What? Wait, he's got okay. like Princess Leia space buds. All right, the duty head game, it should go in three. Pretty Good solid. job, duty head. Inflatable boyfriend. The one star review says, piece of crap, unreliable, just like most men. It's six foot tall. That is not six foot tall. No, the best part is, wait. Let me do the dishes. You never do the dishes. Mm. Okay. Huh, I don't know, I kind of like them. Okay, I think we all know where this is going. One star, let me destroy that thing. Listen, I like this thing. I could listen to you talk all day. Okay, that's enough. Let me see this thing. I want to keep them, I think this, actually no, just like, to make Scott mad. Way over here. Five stars? I think you're jealous. This is dumb. Look, get it out of here. We don't need it. Really? Come back. We have a video to film. Chicken slingshots and doo-doo slingshots. These have really bad reviews, like this one that just says weird smell. Oh, they do have a weird smell. Let's see how accurate they are. We're going to compare. Oh. Scott, I got to say, I do think I think the chickens are a lot better the than the The chickens are way better. We're going to go right here, right on the two-star. Let's see what the next item has in store. Lightsaber chopsticks. Ooh. I actually think these would be cool, except this is a one-star review. Was very excited to put these up as a memorial to our dog, Angels. Really, that's Hoping the wrong to, item. I was really confused why they're they were putting chopsticks on their dog's memorial. Don't get wet. It stopped working. They're too slippery for noodles anyway. You know, we're not just for the park. Are they too slippery for noodles? Let's find out. No. I like these. Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half stars. Next item. Grass flip-flops. Why Ooh. you would need these, I don't know, but I can see why they would have one star. Is it grosser my dogs in camera or grosser to wear socks or my flip-flops? Socks with flip-flops. That's literally disgusting. You goodness. are showing you're, your homeschool self right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have you run on grass and I'm gonna run on grass on flip-flops. How comfortable are they? They're pretty comfortable. I can see you rocking them. I don't know what that says about me. Run. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Honestly though, I feel like I get run pretty good at them. We're gonna rate these. <laughs> Grass flops, where do you think they go? Honestly, I do agree. I think that's our first four star. You want a weird shoe? These are for you. Can you give me a kiss? I need to get through the rest of this video. Hey. Thank you. Are you serious? It was just on the cheek. I didn't cheat. <laughs> How many times? <laughs> this is the perpetual motion desktop thing of a thing. <gasps> Wait right, a second. Let's try two. Five. Execution is terrible. It doesn't actually go back in there. This thing sucks. I don't really don't care what you say. One star. You know this who is a cares star. what I say? Steve. Steve. But I agree. I think we need to spin the wheel to destroy this. Sledgehammer, my favorite. Ah! I hate Steve. Okay, for the next item, I don't know where it is actually. What do you mean? What are you looking don't at? Don't look. No, don't look at Steve. Hey, 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 hey wait. Hey. Get the item. 
get him. Where did it go? We have a ring. So this is a fake diamond engagement ring. Amazon said this is real 24 karat gold. This was $22. Mine is real diamond. Yes. Real 24 karat gold. Yes. This is obviously fake, you can tell. I don't know, I kind of like the emerald shape. <laughs> Where are you going, Scott? Hold it's on. It's not what it looks like, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Scott, we actually have to rate this ring, though. Which one where'd go? Right there. Yeah, I think it's better than the perpetual motion, but technically it's still in the one-star range, which means... <laughs> Baseball bat. You ready to destroy this ring, Scott? Huh? Three, two, one, go. Ah! It hasn't broken yet. Maybe it's worthy of a different rating if it hasn't broken yet. Let's move on. Hey, we need to roll. Who are you texting? I'm not texting. Are you anything. texting Steve? Where do you get that? <laughs> okay, this is the Paw Patrol projector. All the ones are used just that it didn't work. Let's go try it out. We have the lights off. We're gonna test this to see if it works. This thing sucks. It deserves bad reviews. All right, Keely, stop me wherever you want it to be. I think a three and a half. Honestly, at least it's a piece of technology that kind of works. Next up, finger boxing. Not so cool. One star. Don't take your stress out and your coworkers take it out of this punching bag. So first I gotta make huh. Scott mad. Well, you already made me kind of mad with the whole Steve thing. You're smacking? Yeah, you hate when I do this. Where did you even get gum? Seriously, man, back off. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> I'll hold it for you. Ow, my fingers! Did that makes me feel better, yeah. This does not work as good as this. Wait! Whoa, whoa, baby! Whoa! Oh. Go rate the finger boxing. I think it's two stars. The toilet time game! Okay, I'm ready. Scott! This is why I'm into Steve right now. You're into Steve? <laughs> anyway, this is a one star reviewed game on Amazon where you're supposed to sit like Scott is and just go fishing. Okay, this thing sucks. There's no button to reel it. Whoa! It gave us this little plastic pool, which also sucks. It's so flimsy. Oh! Whoa. Check that out. No. Nice. I gotta take like a, like a fish picture. Like those Wait. guys on Bumble. I know it's rated one star and this is really cheap. Like this thing sucks, but I yeah. like I think this is a fun kids game actually. Yeah. I think it's better than the meat shredder. I think it's like I think right it's here. right in here somewhere. 2.9 stars. On to the next. Next item, Scott, is ah! what is this? Ew! Oh, what the <laughs> what is wrong with you? That was the worst thing I've ever seen. Stop! Stop! Stop, Stop. Stop doing that! Hey, if you kiss me like this, I'll forgive everything from Steve. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't like it. You're a chicken head. Why does this even stole? One No, star. no, 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 no. Which means we get to spin the wheel on destruction and see how we're going to destroy it. RKO. No, Scott, no! Next item. Really? Steve, money, toilet paper. And it's rated one star on Amazon. It does not feel like toilet paper. Oh, it's like oh. one ply? I hate when it's one ply, bro. I, I have an idea of what we can do with this that will be very satisfying. I've never TP'd a rich person's office, but this is perfect. Huh? That didn't do anything. Scott, yeah. come on, you have to hold it from this end. Clearly never just... TP'd before. Yeah, he's in the bathroom, so we gotta go fast. One line and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, toilet paper money? Okay, time for the next item. What is this? Run away with me. Leave Scott, Steve. That's it. So I think Scott might be a little bit too jealous of this blow up boyfriend. And I think we should just be done reviewing oh. one star Amazon items. Oh my goodness, do you talk all day? Let's move over to indestructible Amazon items and see how Robert Oberst reacts. We're gonna destroy unbreakable Amazon items. Yeah. And Scott, you're gonna help me because you're the strongest man I know. What? This guy? Are you kidding me? This guy right here? Are you kidding me? Get out of here. There we go. This is my job, okay? Well, this is Robert Oberst, the world's strongest man. So let's get into the items. This is the world's most unbreakable piggy bank, Robert. You I don't know. It's pretty flimsy. No, you're just literally bending it with your hands. Okay, so after each item, we're gonna be raking it on a scale from soft, aka Scott, all the way to an unbreakable diamond. Where on the scale do you think this goes? Where a fuzzy teddy bear would be? Right here. Unbreakable piggy bank. Next item is these unbreakable stress balls. I feel like I can just... <gasps> Okay, so Robert, I have something Oh to yeah, that's cool. If you don't successfully break every single item in this video, I get to shave your beard. Shave my beard? Yeah. <laughs> Good to tell me after we start the video. Where on the scale do you think the stretch balls go? Okay. I'm gonna scoot this one over a little. Okay. 
A George Foreman grill. This is the most durable grill on Amazon. I break everything, right? We had an ax here to destroy that, and Robert didn't even need that, so. Unnecessary. Robert, where does this go? That, right there. Okay, listen, throughout this video, we're also gonna be trying to find what is the most unbreakable item. So what's gonna be closest to a diamond? Let's find out. Apparently, the new iPhones are supposed to be unbreakable. Here, Robert, pull this. So I've got this right over here, the brand new iPhone 14. Pretty unbreakable. That one was my phone. What? Mr. Jobs, I'm gonna need a new phone. <laughs> <laughs> let's put it right down in the middle, yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next item. These are unbreakable cups, plates, and bowls. According to Amazon, they're shatterproof. They can't be broken. What? Wait! But they're not. Why are they breaking for me? <laughs> Wait, Robert can't break it. Come on, Robert, if you don't break it, your beard is in trouble. Actually. They were tough. Boom, right there. Yeah. Glad your beard is still intact, Robert, but we still have more items to go to. Okay, so ah! this is an unbreakable lock, and it is heavy, I gotta say. I mean, it's probably not heavy to you. I think really the only way to attack a lock would be with bolt cutters, I'm but I don't know if bolt cutters are strong enough for something like this. Hold it right here. <gasps> you want my fingers that close to this thing? Right. Please don't cut my finger off. I won't. They're not insured yet. Don't move! Ah! Maybe we should take a pause and come back to this at the end. That sounds good. How are you feeling about your beard? Um, I do think, uh, what? Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna get that. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I think the world's strongest man is a little scared and I'm scared for his beard. But let's move on to the next item. Okay, apparently according to Amazon, these are unbreakable origami. I don't know how that works. You're supposed to be breaking it. Oh, you just ripped it. Even I can rip it. And you know that that's pretty weak. They're definitely not unbreakable. We gotta move on. Get rid of these guys. I think Scott is tougher than these. We can agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Next item. This is Stretch Darth Vader. Do you like Star Wars? Yeah, Captain Kirk's my favorite. It's great having him around because I just know he can open anything I need. <laughs> oh yeah, you take that arm. Whoa. No, Darth Vader. Why, I didn't know he was a gym. He's actually really strong. Yeah. Uh, he's pretty unbreakable, I think. Nice and tall. Let me see if I can just, uh, yeah. All right, we're gonna come back to this guy and see how else we can destroy him in a minute. Okay, this is apparently an unbreakable and waterproof keyboard. You can't even use this keyboard. Let's see if it still works with water. Okay. All right, we got it plugged into a computer. Let's see if it works. Go ahead and type. Okay, are you typing? Yep. Oh, shut up, it's actually typing. It costs our life. I put tacos on life. <laughs> <laughs> Is it unbreakable? That's the question. Well, I can definitely rip this part off. Ah! Oh, Whoa! Is this what's on the inside of a keyboard? I don't understand technology. We have technology. I'm way too smart for this stuff. I think it's between the stretchy balls and the phone. Boom, let's see what the next item's like. So this is an undercoat that is apparently supposed to make things completely unbreakable. So this is unbreakable? Yep. You got the egg in my mouth. That wasn't the unbreakable one. We have to spray it first. Ah, I'm scared. All right, so this is completely covered in this unbreakable, and we're gonna let this dry. Then we're gonna test this out and see if this is true. Ah! Oh, it wasn't ready yet. Dog on it. Okay, after our momentary pause of me cleaning up, we have our unbreakable items. So this are officially unbreakable now? Apparently. Yeah. What are you doing to this water bottle? I don't know, I'm just seeing if it's breakable. How did you make a water bottle that small? I want to do the egg. Not unbreakable. Okay, what about this plate? Do you think you could rip it? Oh, oh. Um, this stuff sucks. This stuff actually made it weaker than it was originally. Whoa! Next item, according to Amazon, this is unbreakable. That hasn't been the case so far. I actually have a weird collection of flashlights in my house all over. I'm an Eagle Scout, so I'm overprepared. I've got the headlamps and flashlights. <laughs> Can you do anything to it? I don't know. 
Pretty solid. I mean, I've got some Wolverine claws, a pocket knife. Oh, I've got this thing too. You think this can do anything? I feel like you guys came up with a list of the most useless tools <laughs> that you could possibly have. Bing, bang. It still, still works. works. There we go, we'll leave that there. I'm a little terrified. Okay, we're in. Okay, let's see if it still works. We're one step closer, because this is now no longer working, but this is still not broken. I'm gonna make sure my beard's safe. I'm just gonna hide right here. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh we busted it. my gosh. It's like right here. I think it's, I think it's over here. Yeah, I think if we had a full scale, it'd go Scott all the way to the diamond to my beard. Let's go to the next thing. I know you love looking at yourself, but these are supposed to be unbreakable. I mean, wow, well, it's pretty bendy. Oh, okay, well, they're not unbreakable, but then you can bend them. All right, why don't you try to break all three at once? Yeah, they're broke. Well, these are clearly not unbreakable glass, just a little bendy. You didn't let me put my face shield up that time. Face shield. <laughs> Unbreakable mirrors. Stronger than the stretch ball. Yep, not as strong, strong as the keyboard. As the keyboard. Yes. Okay, Robert, we're gonna see what Stretch Vader can do um, against this thing. Uh, Earth Mover? I'm just gonna call it a construction dingle hopper. All right, crush him and see what happens. Oh no, oh no. I think he's all right. Why is he perfectly fine? Just a little dirty. All right, let's see what the wheels do to it. Nothing. This is crazy. He just went right back to his normal form. Well, I think we need to try some more destruction tactics on Vader here in a little bit. Back to the items. This is a tungsten ring. Size 14. Does so that fit your? Almost fits my pinky. <laughs> it doesn't even fit my thumb. <laughs> Apparently, this is supposed to be an unbreakable material. Ah! Yeah, it broke. <gasps> I'm sorry, George, but I think we're gonna go George here, ring there. Wow, an indestructible dog toy is next. Check this out, this is a turtle shell. Oh, my cane corso would chew this thing apart. No, oh. no, no, it tastes weird. Yeah, I don't know why you did that. I'm scared of knives. Oh, oh, he's not going in. Let's dissect the sucker. Oh, he made it in! Open her up. Wow, that's tough. Hey, hold that in. Okay. Jeez Louise, oh yeah. my gosh. It's not indestructible, but I think a dog would enjoy it. I say it's just above these right here. The plates? Yeah. Maybe really right there? That's what I'm thinking. Boom shakalaka. This is a tumela, which is apparently an unbreakable umbrella. It's more than unbreakable. It's showing an umbrella stopping a car. It is a durable material. In the commercial for it, they use a watermelon and they smash it with the umbrella. You broke it. You have a turn. So I just want this balled up real quick. Oh! Mm. Anybody want some watermelon? Oh my gosh, yeah. I don't think. Okay. Put it right over Scott to give him some shade. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> okay, Robert, these are cut resistant gloves. Well, let's just go like that, right? Okay. Oh, yep, just went right through it. Let's see how many we can stack. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Stacko gloves. Try and cut a finger off. Oh, you're cutting through. Oh, I only got one half though. Oh. Ow. My fingertip. Ah! Should we shift everything down a little? Yeah. Your poor iPhone. My I old iPhone. <laughs> These are chew-proof, rip-proof, and 100% washable books. And the cutest thing I think I've ever tried to destroy. Oh my you, gosh. Did you really try? That's tough as heck. Oh, what is this made out of? I don't know. Oh, you did it. I yeah, couldn't do it. like wax paper. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, I did it. Out. Mom, look at me. I'm stronger than a baby. <laughs> Thank you. I honestly think it's stronger than the iPhone, the grill. I can't believe a baby book is above <laughs> the George Foreman, a ring, an iPhone, key. That's crazy. This video is panning out so ridiculously. We have a diamond up there on the scale, and I want to 
see how truly indestructible a diamond actually can be. You know this isn't a real diamond, right? No, this is from Amazon. It says 100% real, indestructible. I got it for only $7.99. You think you bought a real diamond this big for $7.99? Yeah, indestructible. Okay, see, I thought that wasn't gonna break because it was supposed to be the most indestructible thing on our list, oh, but I think man. it's gotta go over here. You definitely got scammed. I right? didn't get scammed, no. Okay, we're back to Darth Vader. Yeah, I think honestly you just stay there. Okay. Sit down. I can't, you're pulling me up. All right, fine. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he broke it. It's broken. You broke it. I Vader's actually over here. We squished him with the thing too. That's right, that's good. Right there. The captain of the Enterprise is definitely tough. I'm pretty sure my beard's safe. Like I destroyed everything. Robert, Robert even you're forgetting something. What did we forget? <gasps> the lock from earlier. Oh man. I can do it, I can do this, I got this. Where we got, where's the lock? Let's you better do. break this or your beard's in danger. We're gonna pull out the big boy toys here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to do anything. Nobody's gonna beam them up anymore. Oh no! Don't worry, I got, I got this, I got this, all right? Robert! I, right now, got the hammer. Big time, come on. Oh, come Robert. on, this is, no. No, 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 hey, give me another chance, give me another chance. Give okay, I tried to shave Robert's beard and it didn't go so well, so I think we should move on to some of our favorite childhood toys with my dad. This is my boomer dad. Hi. And this is a toy from his childhood. Awesome, play with me, Keely. Pretty cool, huh? And this is a toy from my childhood. Oh, what is that? Stock of Whopper. Out of these two items, which one do you think is cooler? Can I try it on you and see oh, how oh, cool okay, it is? Okay, fine, go ahead. Ow! All Pretty right. Cool. Every round, the losing toy gets placed right here to be destroyed by a hydraulic press. Why are you killing the blue guy? And the generation with the winning toy gets a point in their jar. My dad was born in 1959. Growing up, he always judged my toys by saying, They don't make them like they used to. Well, today we're going to put that to the test. It's time to see who had the better childhood toys. Heelys were a staple of toys in my generation. Dad, what is this? Hula hoop. Man, the best toy ever. So we got to test these two items out. Johnny, I'm sorry I'm wearing your Heelys right now. <laughs> Why do we mean Johnny wear the same shoe size? <laughs> Wait, does it fit? Really? <laughs> I'm a pro. Woo! So we gotta decide, does hula hoop get the point on your side? Well, I say the hula hoop. I actually kind of agree with you. These are hard to walk in and hard to wheel in. Sorry, Johnny. Okay, kinetic sand from the 2000s versus silly putty. I gotta say, kinetic sand is one of my favorite toys. Ew, why are you, you look like a pig. So satisfying. Oh, so messy. Dad, you feel the sand, you feel the sand. Oh, that's awesome. One, two, kinetic sand. Oh, okay, I was gonna say kinetic sand too. I get a point for this round. Whichever generation has the least amount of points at the end of the video has to get their phone pressed. Wait a minute. You wanna do the honors? Sure, this looks fun. Oh my God, switch it out. Oh, oh that is so satisfying. Holly Pocket versus Gummy. Gumby. This is very nostalgic for me, I'm not gonna lie. So what was cool about Polly Pocket is they had these like rubber dresses. Dad, this is something that we have to talk about. As a kid, that you would chew on the Polly Pocket clothing because it had a specific rubbery taste. What? My it's, cousin used to do it. Yeah, see, it's yeah. a thing. Keely, can I come play with you? I'm Randy, the red-eyed Gumby. The thing about Gumby is he's supposed to be really stretchy. You wanna see how much we can stretch him? <laughs> okay, let's see how far the Polly breaks. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I personally think Polly Pocket's cooler because there's way more accessories and, and things you can do. Uh, I guess I'll agree with you on that one. <laughs> Dad, you know what we have to do with the Gummy Boy here? Dang, you really do be flexible though. But we just crushed him and he's perfectly fine. Beyblades versus tabletop spinners. These were a craze in the 2000s. Do y'all remember the commercial? Beyblade, let it rip. Yeah, there you go. Scott, that was exactly it. Beyblade, let it rip. Whoa! Wait, now let's see how good yours work. Dad, let's get in the Beyblade Stadium and do a face off. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, wait, they're both spinning. Oh, oh no. you're stopped! Wait, Dad, let's both do a Beyblade. Let's do a battle right now. Go! Woo, look at that battle! This Come is on. actually so funny, my friend. Yes! No! Victory! I gotta say, the Beyblades are kind of giving me a nice little point right now. I'm gonna do it this time. All right, Dad. Ah, the metal's crushing. Oh, wait, one thing I gotta say about the toys from the 
the 60s, man. It's they tough. Be durable, man. Okay, strawberry shortcake versus whatever these are. Trolls. Look at the vibe that dude's putting on. Dad, do you even know what a vibe is? Like, can you vibe check this strawberry shortcake for me? <laughs> Remember, I was obsessed with these as a kid because I was like, I'm her, because I had red hair. And when I was a little three-year-old, I wanted bangs like strawberry shortcake. And I cut my own bangs. I remember that. And yeah. they were really bad. These are disgusting. These are getting smashed. Can I have a toy for my jar? Point for me. <laughs> Mighty Beans versus Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head. So I definitely these as a kid too, but that's how classic this is. These came around in the 60s and have just pretty much stayed the same since. I remember these, but I don't think I ever had them. What do you do? Wait. Let's see the Mr. Potato Head. We played a fun game before where you blindfold yourself and you have to put together the Mr. Potato Head. It's really oh, hard. That sounds fun. All right, all your pieces are gonna be in front of you. Go, you have 60 seconds. Oh wait, let me help you this last oh, one. right here, right here. <laughs> <laughs> That looks like Scott when he asked me if he could have Keely hand in marriage. <laughs> Potato! Okay, Dad, I gotta say, I definitely think that Mr. Potato Head takes the cake for this one. Put the potato in your jar. Now we gotta crush these guys. Ah, it's gonna break the book. Whoa. Look at the after effects of that. Okay, Dad, you have the Viewmaster. The Viewmaster, 3D classic. I love these. Pictures yeah, you in got them. an elephant right there, elefante. Dad, why don't you take it out of the back? <laughs> Look, check this out. I have an Oculus. What? I love this. Can I have this when we're done? <laughs> you sure can have it when we're done. Check this out. Oh, cool. Okay, Dad, go to the zombie game. What? Back to the real world. I know you love this. We have to crush it because this is obviously the winner, right? You're gonna win. Yeah, that's just, that's way more. Ding! Sorry, Dad. Oh, I love that toy. Oh, you didn't last at all. Ah! Oh my God, you broke it more than the prince. A magic eight ball versus chat G. This is basically the 60s version of AI. Yeah. Let's ask them both of our things here the same thing. Should I eat pizza tonight? Okay, should I eat pizza tonight? Definitely. Here are popular recommendations. A pepperoni pizza, a beloved favorite. Yes, I like yeah. yes, definitely. Uh, but he doesn't tell you what kind of pizza. If Chad GBT loses, then we crush your phone? Actually, Dad, if Chad GPT loses, we crush this robot. Personally, I think that this is more fun, but AI is a lot smarter. I like simple. A point for uh, the Magic 8-Ball. Sorry, chat. I'm scared. Poor thing. Oh, oh man. No. The robot. Next item. Silly Man versus a slinky. A slinky, a slinky, what a wonderful toy. A slinky, a slinky, made for girls and boys. Wait, awesome. that was actually a theme song? Yes. Yeah. Whoa, wow. that worked pretty good. Do you remember these? What do you do with them? They're silly bands, so they're, they're wristband shaped like shapes. And then you would collect uh, them and you would I trade remember, them with I your friends. You having hundreds of them. I would have oh. hundreds of them on my wrist. Bro, this one's a dog. This looks like Daisy. Silly bands or slinkies? Personally, I gotta say silly bands. They were just so iconic. I, every kid had them. Slinky's just the best toy. Look, it's still fun. Hey, we need a guest judge, Scott. It's silly bands. Oh! Here you go. <laughs> He's still slinky. Okay, Dad, you said you spent a lot of time outside. Well, this was a classic outdoor toy as a child. It was. It Two was canes and a string. Does this work? Have you ever done this? Yeah, we used to talk to our neighbors. There's no way that actually works. It does work. Okay, let's test it out. Mm -hmm. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hey, audience, if you can hear us, can you make sure to subscribe? Make sure y'all like the video. Dad's right. Right. Okay, Dad, now we have to test these out. Okay, I can hear you loud and clear. Dad, I'm gonna hide somewhere, and I need you to come back and find me, okay? She's not over here. She's not under there. Maybe she's in there. Oh, no. <laughs> Bad throw. These work really cool, but these definitely work better, which means that is a point for me in my generation. Go Gen Z. Again, oh, I didn't think about that. I have no idea what the points are at, but I'm having a feeling I might be winning. Pretty Dad, sure she's way ahead. Your phone might be getting destroyed by the end. Okay. Sorry, cans. Ah, yawning crash. And there you have it. 
dad's favorite toy from his childhood. Oh. Light Bright! This came out when you were a kid in the 60s, and it also resurfaced in the 2000s, but they made it a lot more fun and colorful. We had one in the bathroom. I it was on the wall, yeah. so that as a kid, like when you're bored, you can play with it, like when yeah, you're using the potty. Was... Dad has all the same shape, and mine are different shapes. Look, I've got double pegged, single pegs, ow. I gotta say, I do like that I have different shapes. That's fun, yours doesn't have that. My picture's done. Three, two, one, reveal! Look at that, you got a little tree. Yeah. I have a little K. Like for Kaylee. Yeah. Like subscribe to Kaylee's channel. How many sub CTAs can we have? I don't know, kind of like this one. Got a little st stand too. <gasps> Yours has a stand? Let me see. <gasps> Ta-da. Okay, all right, clear winner. The 60s version of Light Bright is better than the 2000s version. Wow, oh, the whole Light Bright. Sorry Light Bright, crush him. Etch a sketch versus Zuzu Pay. Love Etch a sketch. You're the beginning to just be a little kid in this video. It's so cute. I know, this is fun. It reminded me of cool old toys. I just broke the Zuzu bet just opening it. What's that called? Oh my god, I broke this too. I Zuzu love Etch a sketch because I always love drawing. Zoom, zoom. And another car with another Zuzu, but I also broke this one. Oops. How's your extra sketch going? Oh, this is great. I'm drawing a picture of your brother's house. This is his Dallas Skyrise. <laughs> <laughs> I actually love etch sketch I'm not gonna lie. These, this is a great invention. This is trash. I, I broke it just opening it. The elephant is going into Dad's yeah. jar. Let's uh, destroy this terrible thing. Poor little Zuzu. His poor head. It is officially time. Let's pull our jars off the wall. Ah. Oh, jeez Louise. You want the shelf off too? Oh, no. Let's go ahead and count up our toys. Who put his eyeballs on after he got inside? Come on, we got, we can get him out. There's gotta be a way. Back up, Keely. Uh, Keely. Oh my God. All right, count up your toys. Five. Eight. All right, Dad, hand me your phone. Oh uh, no, you can't do this. You can't, you're not really. <laughs> you know how much trouble this is gonna cause? No! No! I'm never gonna call you again for that. Okay, Boomer. <laughs>